right, so as I'm recording this video, it's September 9th, 2018, the 22nd anniversary of the first Crash Bandicoot game. It's been 22 years since the first game released. It's the 22nd birthday of the series. Now, we have to talk about this very frustrating leak. The reason why I call it frustrating is because, number one, this key art of Crash Bandicoot, this render, is nowhere online. And even though the image is blurred, you could clearly see that like it has a lot of detail as much as King K. Rool and the other characters that are on the roster. Now, I found this on Twitter from a user, but that person didn't really seem like they made it. So I went to 4chan, because 4chan is where all this shit is at. And pretty much, there was a lot of people here uh, having a very explicit discussion in regards to the leak. And a lot of people were wondering, like, why, why does it say Crash B instead of Crash Bandicoot? You know, that doesn't make any sense. And we all know how much detail Sakurai loves to implement into Smash Brothers with the characters and stuff. To make the character as consistent as possible. Now, I've done a letter check for Zero Suit Samus, as well as Rosalina and Luma, if you don't count the and in Luma's name. But Crash Bandicoot's lettering, his name has 14 letters. And Zero Suit Samus, I believe, has the same amount. But the thing is, Zero Suit Samus's name is, like, symmetrical in comparison to Crash Bandicoot's name. Because if you just add Crash, and you try to add Bandicoot in this little-ass box, it's gonna go out of the box. It's gonna exceed the border, so it's not gonna look right. And also, what kind of supports this is the fact that well, in Crash Bandicoot 3, um, where is it? Where's that image that I have? Where's the image that I have? Where's the image that I have? Okay, right here. If it loads, please load already. Alright. This image that I have right here, if you pause the game in Crash Bandicoot 3 warped, it says Crash B. And... It just so happens to be on the fucking Crash, no, not the Crash, the Smash Ultimate roster that his name is Crash B. So it's very convenient and it is consistent to a degree. Um, a lot of people also on the 4chan thing were, um, discussion, were also talking about how he zoomed out of his portrait. He zoomed out of the box a lot more in comparison to everybody else. And here's the thing that I'm having a trouble with, like, trying to understand genuinely, is that, um, you know, when you look at early Smash Brothers Ultimate videos like this one, for example, you'll see that the roster is clearly not complete at all. These are very limited characters that are specifically made for the E3 demo, I'm assuming, or the start of the game. Oh no, it's not because you'll start off with the original 64 cast, never mind. But yeah, the E3 build. You'll see that you can get a good look at everyone's portrait and everything like that. But when more characters are added, what I want to know is, is if, like, their portraits um, start to change. Like, if, if, if you can see more of the render, if you can see more of the character. Because if you look at Pac-Man in his leak, and then look at Pac-Man in this video, you can't see his left arm. You can't see his left arm. It's, like, far off. But in that leak, you can see his left arm. So, I don't know if this was a major attempt at trying to squeeze in Crash Bandicoot. Or if this is what the roster will look like. If this is what the characters will look like when the roster is actually, like, maximized. And it's way more bigger than the E3 build or, you know, the beginning of the game once you buy it. Um, another thing that kind of bothers me about this is his thumb. Now, if you look at the original UI of the game, uh, you'll see that once you select the character, their logo or emblem will appear to represent their franchise. Um, and their name will appear. However, that appears on the right, you know, it's plain as shit here, but on the left, the character is there. So, you would think, you know, uh, Crash would be on the fucking left, like Ridley here, but he's not, he's on the right. Why is his thumb poking out on the right? That's weird as shit, that's very bothersome. Another thing that's kind of weird about it, now... I'll give the leaker, I guess, the benefit of the doubt since the picture is blurry, but we know how blurry leaks are these days. Um, his freaking torso, dude. Look at this. Why is he fucking, like... You, you see that shit? It just... It doesn't look right. It Like, the rest of his body looks fine. It looks okay. But, like, under there, it's 
Like, what is he doing? Like, is he spinning? I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. For, from an from a artistic perspective, compared to everybody else that looks symmetrical and, and kind of normal, this dude does not look right, dog. He doesn't look right right here at all. It, it's really it's really weird. His thumb is on the wrong side. He's supposed to be on the god darn left. And his name or the logo emblem thing like how Mario's Mushroom and the Metroid logo um, is behind like their names right here. It's it's not there. So why the fuck is he on the right? It's, it's weird. Unless Sakurai's UI has changed or whatever and someone just so happened to snag a picture and yada 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 and all that. We don't know. We don't know. All I'm saying is uh the the pros of this is the fact that this art of crash bandicoot is not available anywhere online aside from the leaguer himself clearly or herself clearly and crash b is not too far-fetched to be in the roster because well he had crash b in his name and sakurai is known for implementing little details for certain characters plus again with the whole text hierarchy thing and, and the symmetry of the lettering with Zero Suit Samus here, Bandicoot would not fit in that box. And if you put Bandicoot under Crash, Crash's like the Crash would be covering Crash's mouth, so it wouldn't look right. So Sakurai would have to improvise and put Crash B. Clearly, the announcer—I forgot his name—would announce Crash is just well, <laughs> Crash. Or Crash Bandicoot. People would know what the freak the B stands for. So I don't see why it's that much of a big deal personally. But yeah. The pros is that the render is not out there. And the, the whole B thing is really nothing too far fetched. Because well. It's in Crash 3 warped. And uh, that's about it. With the cons though. It's this thumb shit over here. He, he shouldn't be on this darn side. I don't know why he's on his side. And if his if his character portrait was moving, he would have been blurred. But he's not blurred. Someone just tossed his ass down there and can't really see the rest of his body or how it's really positioned. And his logo, when he's selected, should not be right there. Also, if he was selected, then why the... F fuck is his body right there you see how on on the screen it's like on on the, on this gameplay it shows the player one emblem on mario and the player two emblem on ridley and you can see them under right here in the ui that part that section of the ui there's no damn player buttons on this shit so why the fuck is crash automatically selected if there's no player button there so that's a third con so the, the odds go against the the, the, the odd the, there's more odds than evens here Unfortunately, so I'm, I'm afraid that this is fake. The timing is not coincidental. Um, four months ago, you know, the same leak here that I mentioned. Did I mention this earlier? Anyways, four months. I'm, I'm gonna talk about it now. Four months ago, pretty much, this leaker, Lazzy Man or whatever, stated that uh, Crash was gonna be announced for Smash at E3, but that didn't happen. But he also said that Five Nights at Freddy's, where is it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Five Nights at Freddy's is coming to the Switch, though reports are coming in that content may have been censored on Scott Calkins and not enforced by Nintendo coming out in the fall. And just on August 28th, a Five Nights at Freddy's console port deal was signed. So, if this is happening now, and this was posted four months ago, and it's September, the month of Crash's 22nd anniversary, and this leak pops up... Uh, that's really weird. That's really weird, and it's very suspicious. This could be real. This could be fake. I have no idea. What do you guys think? I tried to dissect it as much as possible, but holy shit, it, 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 this was the most frustrating leak I have ever tried to, like, come up with a, a, a conclusion for. It's, 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 a, it's a nice little fake if it is fake. Does that even make any sense? I don't fucking know. It's 6.54 in the morning. I shouldn't be doing this. In fact, I have gameplay recorded. Deadass. I have gameplay recorded. Of. Fucking. Crash of the Titans. And. and, and not Tag Team Racing. But Crash of the Titans. Twin Sanity. Crash 2. All that. The game. The, the video. 
that I was gonna play like do for this video was not like here it is down here for Crash 3 the, the video the video you're, you're watching now was not supposed to be how it was but I was getting so fucking frustrated that I didn't care no more and nobody else was talking about this so I figured I'd give it some attention because if Omni's not gonna fucking break it, then I'm gonna try to break it. So, I tried to break it, and I don't know anymore. So, yes. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't feel right for putting this video out the way it turned out to be. Because, it just, it wasn't how I intended. So, yeah. Props to the person that made this. Uh, I think I think it's fake. The art looks fucking beautiful. If you could actually send me this shit, that'd be fire. Or if you could come out and post it somewhere, that'd be fucking amazing. I don't know. But, dude, please, just, no, don't do this shit. Don't do this shit. I get that it raised awareness and all that, but that's that's what the petitions and Twitter and Facebook's about, man. Like, don't, don't do that shit. Also, another thing I forgot to mention. I was on Reddit or 4chan one day on my phone. And it was actually a list of characters that a lot of people wanted on these certain, like, Smash Brothers websites or whatever. Or just websites in general. And Crash Bandicoot is in all of these except for Game Facts. He's number 5 on Reddit. He's number 10 on 4chan. He's number 5 on Source Gaming. And he's number 8 on Smash Bros. So I feel like Crash Bandicoot is definitely a very popular pick for uh, Smash Brothers. Especially since Bomberman is in and Shovel Knight is in. Um... It would be no surprise if Crash Bandicoot did make it into the roster because he was the second rival to Mario. He is very relevant and he is iconic. So, nobody should be surprised if he's in. And if you are surprised, I mean, that's because you've most likely probably been misinformed of the series, thinking that the series was owned by Sony. When it wasn't, it was owned by Universal. Universal had a contract with Naughty Dog. It expired after CTR. And then pretty much Crash went to different developers and it ended up in Activision's hands. So, in, in between all of that, before he went to Activision, the series went to Activision, I mean, there were four Nintendo exclusives. There was three Game Boy exclusives, one DS exclusive, and he had games on the GameCube, and he had games on the Wii. So, Insane on the Switch does not mean, or, you know, really mean anything. It just insinuates, not insinuates, it reassures to us that Nintendo knows who Crash is, and, well, at the Direct, they called him a gaming icon. So, they definitely, uh, they're aware that Crash been on other nintendo consoles and i'm starting to lose my train of thought so yeah i'm gonna see you on the next one um again if he's in smash ultimate don't be surprised please don't be surprised do not be surprised if he's in the game because he's a very popular character and he's popular in japan and sakurai's translators and you can always work something out and shovel knight is in smash yeah he's not playable but he's american so sakurai's not racist to american characters He's not strict on American characters, and Kane K. Roll was not relevant. He was just requested heavily to be in the game, so he got in, as well as Ridley, even though those characters were not relevant for shit. And I don't think Simon Belmont was relevant either. He's just iconic, so the same can apply for Crash Bandicoot. And another thing I was going to add to that is that on this 4chan thread, or on Smashboards, one of the two, because I was looking at both where they posted about this, a lot of people seem to think that after King K. Roll Crash could not be announced. It just wouldn't make sense. But after Ridley got announced, Simon got aroused. That's Nintendo after third party and then a first party character, which is King K. Roll. And, you know, if Crash is in, then it would be Crash after a first party character. So, pretty much Ridley, Nintendo, Simon, third party, King K. Roll, Nintendo, Crash, third party. So, there's a pattern. If this is true, if this leak is real, then it's fucking true. That's how the pattern is. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have yourself a good one, and I'll see you guys whenever, if ever. Peace.